Wearing an orange Rikers Island prisoner suit, Officer Michael Pena told the judge he's not guilty of rape. Court papers say he told police he was only cheating on his fiance. To date, we have not uh, received any evidence whatsoever that shows that he raped anybody. Uh, and we're still awaiting DNA results, rape kit results. Last month, Pena was arrested for allegedly raping a school teacher in the back of a building in the Inwood section of Manhattan after he asked her for directions to the train. It was 6.30 in the morning. He was off duty at the time. Prosecutors say Pena threatened the woman with his gun before taking her into the alley. People in the building heard troubling sounds, so they called 911. Police say Pena smelled of alcohol. In a statement, D.A. Cyrus Vance says, It is all the more disturbing that the defendant in this case was a law enforcement officer sworn to protect the citizens of this city. But the officer's lawyer says, not so fast. He's always been uh, a person who's been very highly regarded, always with a smile, always courteous, always helpful. Our position is that they clearly jumped the gun over here. I mean, it remains to be seen whether or not this is strike three for the DA's office. Earlier this year, DA Vance failed to get a rape conviction against two other cops. He also dropped the sexual assault case against French politician Dominique Strauss-Kahn. But unlike Strauss-Kahn, Pena's family says it can't afford the $500,000 cash bail, so he remains behind bars for now. He's in a place right now where he's, he's protected from uh, the rest of the population at Rikers, some of whom may not be too fond of the police, whether they wear blue, blue uniforms or orange uniforms. If convicted of all of the charges, Pena could face the next 25 years to life in an orange jumpsuit. For now, he's suspended from the force. His next court date is in November. At State Supreme Court in Lower Manhattan, Dean Meminger, New York One.